What we have here is the HDR image analyzer. As you'll see, it's a 1RU device that's designed with a combination of Palafront software and HA hardware. It's got four 3G SDI inputs and four 3G SDI outputs, so you can obviously loop the signal out. So what we're seeing on screen right now is some of our HDR footage. I'm gonna move into the different modes here where you'll see that we have a range of tools from waveforms to vector scopes to CIEX, there's our vector scope, and then you can bring up combinations of views on screen. The whole point of working with something that's designed to analyze, of course, is so that you can come in and look at your material and really get at what's going on. This view here is literally pixel by pixel with a readout of what's happening with that pixel in terms of luminance and color information. So as I click on my screen here, you've seen the colors behind those pixels change because it really just depends on where I've placed my mouse. You can also do line by line viewing. You are able to get a brightness and gamma warning log, for instance. And of course, the whole purpose of doing this type of thing, especially if you're working in a team, is so that you can come and create log data that you can pass on to the rest of your team. And it'll do this with a timestamp. So basically, a time code. It'll say at time code X, you had a problem. So in combination, you'll see right up here on my analyzer inputs. We've got a bunch of different modes. My favorite still has to be LumiColor in the sense that you're combining color and luminous information in the same image and the color spaces you can work with. They're all your camera inputs. So you can bring your log inputs in. The material can be coming from SDR, and measured in these different color spaces, HLG, and of course, HDR PQ, where you have Rec. 709, P365, and uh, Rec. 2020. White points can be set as you need to for D65 or DCI work. We can be working with a LUT that you bring in yourself or just auto as we're doing now. You can actually increase the gain on the interface itself. That can be helpful on occasion when the footage is really dark, for instance. So there I've just gained it up a bit. I can always reset it so it's less over the top. So this is kind of an indispensable tool at this point. You'll find that as you start to do more and more HDR work, the question becomes, Am I in spec anywhere? You know, I know I've, I've gone quite wild here with my, my dynamic range. Is it actually going to work? So within the scope of your project, you can monitor this properly, you can share this information with your teammates, and you can do full QC checks, whether you're in the middle of the process, shoot level, or whether you're creating your final HDR master. So to learn more about it, please visit aja.com and simply take a look at the new HDR image analyzer page or just go to our What's New page so you can look through all of the new products.